My name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SolidWorks professional with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows how to mirror parts in SolidWorks using two different methods. The first method stores the mirrored version in a configuration of the same part. The second method creates a derived part using the mirror part command. I'll use this part to illustrate both methods because its left hand and right hand versions are distinct. To begin, I'll create a new configuration named LH. Now I'll create a mirror feature in this new configuration. This face will be the plane of symmetry. I'll be mirroring the entire part, so I'll use the bodies to mirror section. And I'll be sure not to merge the new geometry with the existing solid body. Now I'll delete the initial part with the delete body command. This completes the process, and now I can toggle between the two configurations and see the right hand and left hand versions. The second method uses the same part. I'll use the mirror part command found on the insert menu. Before invoking this command, I first select the plane of symmetry. This step is necessary for the command to be available at all. I now get the Insert Part Property Manager, where I can choose what should come across, as well as whether to establish a reference between the new part and the source part. This of course means that changing the source part changes the mirrored part as well. Once I click OK, the process is complete, and I'll tile the active windows so that we can see the original and mirrored versions of the part. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.